ascertain the number of the cheese palace. We are not answering the phone right now because it is early in the day and we're asleep. If you are calling about the talent show, please don't call again. Just show up tonight. It is an open mic event, so you can just come as you are. Just don't forget to be funny. See you tonight. Howdy, stranger. It ain't none too often the strangers come to Cowboy Town. And if they do, it usually means trouble. We old timers, we still remember the day when the last stranger came to Cowboy Town. Well, when he first showed up, I took him for a real greenhorn, let me tell you something. But he surprised us all. I'm gonna tell you a little story. Now, Cowboy Town was in a real state back then. The river was running green and poisonous. Cockroaches as big as horses were coming out of the mines. And worst of all, the old sheriff had mysteriously disappeared. Mr. Rayburn, a real mean owl fella, he'd just about taken over the whole town. But then the stranger came to town. He waged battle on the cockroaches in Kate's saloon. And then he went straight into the mines and he brought us back our shares. Well, Little Piggy helped with that, but that's only to be expected. Little Piggy, he's the cleverest pig in town, after all. Now, that stranger I'm talking about, he was the famous pig detective. You heard of him? He had to go to Big Town after saving us, but we'll never forget him. And I do hope he'll never forget us. Because when we get in trouble again, we need a friend. I want that friend to be Pig Detective. Now let me buy you a drink, you big galoot. I am Cat Detective. I am the... I'm sure you are. Jep, that's me. Greatest detective in Big Town. Come to think of it, maybe the greatest detective of all time. What do you do? Who, me? I'm just a humble vacationer. Well, not everyone is cut out to be busy and important. Like me. The greatest detective of all time. Aren't you dying to know what makes me the greatest detective of all time? 
I can't wait. <laughs> of course you can't. I am the greatest detective of all time because I can find out anything about anyone. If there is dirt to dig up about you, I will dig it up. If you have secrets, I will find them out. Does that make you uncomfortable? Maybe a little bit. Ah, they all say that. And I always say, you don't have to like me for it, but I can't help being honest. I could kill that cat. Hey, easy pal, ain't that a little overdramatic? Hey, can I ask you something? You've been going through a lot of stress of late. Now you mention it, I guess I have. Hey, no need to feel ashamed, it happens to the best of us. If you need an open ear, you can come to me anytime. Lending an ear to the dejected, that's uh, kind of part of my job. The other part is torturing there is, am I right? I'm the singing bartender, good to meet you, pal. My name's George. I'm here on vacation. Hey, Skipper, we got a cat overboard here. Hey, cat overboard! Quick, George, save the cat! Yeesh, that's one wet cat. Well, thank you, Porky. Not that I needed any help in the first place. Don't you know that cats have nine lives? Look, George, there's the island. Hey, look at that. Relax island, George. Ain't it something? Palm trees wafting gently in the breeze. Hot springs bubbling for your pain release. There's a reef to explore with fish galore. <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, I come here every year, George. And it's the holiday of a lifetime. The hotel bar is better stocked than any bar in Big Town. Heck, it might just be the greatest bar of all time. Believe me, George, one day on Relax Island will feel like a week. Beyond the waves breaking over the sand Lies an ancient and magical land So much beauty for a stranger to find The perfect haven for body and mind About the spring's glowing nuclear green Where folks will go never again to be seen Limitless wonders for all to behold As long as you do what you're told Can I take your luggage, sir? Definitely. I am much too busy and important to carry my own luggage. I guess I'll carry my own luggage. No. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh.
That goes here. That goes there. No. Just carry this bit. Yep. No. Okay. Uh, yes. No. No. And. Uh. That goes here. That goes there. Just carry this bit. And we're good. Fully loaded. Hello, hello. Another guest? I'm on vacation. But I assumed the hotel was completely booked. Never mind, good chap. I do prattle on sometimes. My name is Plumage, by the way. That's Lord Plumage, actually. But my friends call me Plummy. I've never had a friend who was a pig before, but first time for everything, I suppose. Oh, do go on and go in. Don't let me keep you. I expect I'll be seeing you around the island. There's quite a lot of it, and I will be painting it all. I walked all the way back here for nothing. Um, excuse me. Excuse you? You wait in line, Porky. Just like I'll be with you in a minute, dear. Now, if you could just sign our guest book right here, and I will get you your key. You, you will be in room 207. Room 207? But I told you, I want the violin room. Well, I am sorry, dear, but I have told you I can't give you the violin room. It is already taken. Already taken? But how can it be taken if I wasn't here to take it? Don't you know who I am? No, dear, but you can put it in our guest book. I am the famous cat detective. Oh, that's very nice, dear. But it won't change anything about the rooms, I'm afraid. You're in room 207. But I don't want to be in room 207. I can't be in room 207. The violin room is the only room I can be in. Do you want to know why? No, dear, I don't. But I'm sure you will tell me. Well, if you must know... The violin room is the only possible room for me because it has a violin in it. All great detectives play a violin. And I am the greatest detective of all time. So it follows that I must have the violin room. Do you understand that? Yes, dear, but you see, the violin room is already taken. The hotel is almost completely booked. 
Room 207 is the last room I have left. It is a very nice room, too. Oh, very well. I'll take it. But I must say, this is very shabby service. And no way to treat the greatest detective of all time. Please sign the book for your key. Now, how can I help you, dear? I need a room. Or a room? Do you have a reservation? Um. Well, I am sorry, dear, but we are completely booked. I just gave away my last room. But I won this vacation. Here's my letter from Rayburn's Humbugs that says so. Your what? My letter says that I won the great Rayburn's Humbugs raffle. It says right here. First prize, one week vacation in luxury hotel Relax Grand on Relax Island. Starting today. You see? I am sorry, dear, but I've never heard of this raffle. And we are completely booked. But it says here that I won a week's vacation. Starting today. You take part in raffles, Porky. What a stupid way to book a holiday. Yeah, come to think of it, I don't remember taking part in any raffles. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't let you into the elevator with all that luggage. As his manager, I advise Mr. Gander not to talk to just anybody. that wretched diva got to now. The shoot was supposed to start 20 minutes ago. Bet it's that dandy character. I never knew a duck spent so much time with a makeup artist when he's not even getting his makeup done. <laughs> Excuse me. There seems to be a misunderstanding about the vacation that I won in your raffle. My raffle? I do not organize any raffles. And if I did, I would not let you win any of them. And what are you doing here anyway? You should be dead. Dead? Did I say dead? I must have got a humbug stuck in my windpipe. But... Georgie! Georgie! What a pleasant surprise!
Eva, are you wearing trousers? Oh, please. You've never approved of anything I do. That's not true. What are you doing here, anyway? I'm working. We're making a film. Duckling, how many times have I told you? Ducks should not be in films. We've talked about this so many times. Oh, nonsense, Georgie Bodgy. Dandy is in the film, too. And he is a duck. Oh, really? And what role does he play? He's the monster. It's a monster movie. Ah, it's a monster movie. Do you think that makes the monster the leading man? <coughs> what did he say? Oh, stop being jealous, Georgie Porgy. We agreed you would not stick your snout into my affairs anymore. Anyways, what are you doing here? I'm here on vacation. On vacation? You? I can go on vacation if I want to. But that is so unlike you! And anyways, Detox Island is hardly the place for vacation. I'm still the same old joker, Jody Bargy. I thought it was Relax Island. <laughs> Looks like I won't be staying here anyway. Apparently the hotel is completely booked. Completely booked? Oh no! Well, let's see about that. Sorry to bother you with this, Mrs. Make, but this gentleman here needs a room. Oh, I know, dear. He told me so, but I'm afraid we are completely booked. Oh, I understand, Mrs. Make. But isn't there any old room you could give him? Like. I'd be content with that. Well, there is an attic, but you don't want us to put the guests there, dear. One of our chambermaids stayed in the attic until she said she wouldn't anymore. She swore it was haunted. I know! Give him my room. Your room? Your room, dear? But that's... Your room? Where will you stay? It's no trouble, really. I can easily stay with Dandy in Mr. Duck's room. No trouble. You staying in a room with another duck? I dare say there might be trouble, dear. Really, Duckling, this is inconceivable. You working in films and wearing trousers is one thing, but staying in another duck's room... Oh, come off it, Georgie Podgy. Just give him my key. And please, tell the bell off to move my things. I'm laying up on my shoe as it is. But... Look, Georgie Podgy, I dearly love to argue with you about this, but I really don't have the time. They're waiting for me. I must go. You can thank me later. Meet me in the hotel bar later, and then we can talk. Well, that is one decisive young duck, dear. I'll get you your key. Please, sign the guest book in the meantime. Room 107. It must be on this floor.
I think I've managed to pack all of Miss Diva's things. If there is anything I overlooked and you find it, could you please just give it to her yourself? Of course I can. I'm much obliged, sir. Oh, and one more thing. Please do not attempt to play the violin. Mrs. Meek would be very put out if anything happened to it. It has great sentimental value for her. I can't believe it! They put you in the violin room, Porky? What did you do to get the violin room? I wanted the violin room. I always get the violin room. They told me I couldn't have it, and now you have it. It's not fair. Why is it so important to you which room you stay in? Do you even play the violin? Do I even play the violin? Of course I play the violin. All great detectives play the violin. Not that you would know anything about that, Porky. The violin's a tough instrument. Not that tough, apparently. Have fun with your violinless violin room, Porky. Oh no!